Well, we may as well just finish this off. Hey guys, I hope you liked the last video with the unboxing of Bloodborne. That was, uh, I'm still pretty excited about that. I can't wait to start painting them. But we have some unfinished business to do. And that is finishing off Excavation Earth. We've got our token organizer built. Now all we gotta do is paint it. Make it look cool. At the same time, it also strengthens it up. And again, you know, I got this off of the, this guy, Black Magic Craft. If you haven't checked him out, if you like D&D, creating your own train and doing it cost effectively, this guy's fantastic. He has amazing ideas. I don't know where he comes up with half of this stuff. You know, he's got an amazing mind for coming up with interesting ways of making things. Very, uh, very great artist, actually. <laughs> I don't know, you know, I, I, I don't, I'm not affiliated with him anyway, other than just buying a shirt off of him. I just really like his stuff. He's fantastic, and he's given me some ideas that I use myself now for some of the things that I do. And that's the Black Mag uh, Mod Podge mixture. Is this just Mod Podge and black paint, you know, that you use to coat your polystyrene or your uh, foam core or foam board with to give it a coating so that when you do a clear coat after, it doesn't eat away at the foam. Also, to strengthen up the items that you're coating because of the glue that's basically in here. And being that it's black, it tells you you've coated the entire thing. And it also gives you something. Uh, as far as for like a backdrop uh, or a primer basically to be able to paint over you know you don't even have to necessarily paint your organizers you could just do black black would be fine give it a clear coat after that with a polyurethane spray there's stuff out there that you can use that is pretty decent that's not going to eat away at foam but this here does a pretty good job of protecting it anyway um, again too with it you don't want to spray up right close using it against your foam there is a good chance that it could still eat away if it's highly concentrated you know you just want to lightly coat it until it's at least got a nice congruent coating over top to protect anything that you've painted everything that you've done it'll also protect the items that you put in it as well you know once you've filled up your token organizer with all your little bits and pieces and cardboard cutouts and and uh uh, everything else uh, that, that's involved in whatever game that you're making this token, or, token organizer for you also don't want any of that stuff kind of rubbing off on your game components too so it's a great way to protect everything really I've already did some of the boxes in there I've got a head start on it because there's a lot of them to do and the thing is is that you can only go so far when you mod podge and black paint all of the components you stuff to sit there and let them dry so I've already got some of them done so that means I can start painting those while other ones are going to be mod podged and while I'm painting those the others can be drying you know kind of get a little bit of a system going so that we can get this done quickly the other thing that I did mention that I'd like to do because we managed to fit absolutely everything in this box from Excavation Earth and from the second wave and the additional components and pieces, the stuff that came with this little card here, which is basically all of your little artifacts. So you had an extra sheet of artifacts and I've got all of those in there too. So the one thing that we need to do is we need to make it somewhat distinguishable as to what's still the main game and what is added components so if you don't want to play with the added components you know you can just play with the base game still but you know which components are from where so that's what we're gonna do with this so moving forward why don't we just dive right in let's start getting some mod podging done since I've got some other ones done we could even start doing some painting come up with a painting scheme I think I'm gonna go somewhat simple with this Maybe with just a couple of colors, you know, I don't know. We'll feel it out as we go. So, down to earth. <laughs>
All right, first step, Mod Podge in black paint. So I've decided that I'm just going to do a stone color. Um, I would normally even texture it, but in this particular case, I'm just going to color it and that's it. I just wanted to go simple with this one. Uh, just using a sponge and some cheap Craftsmart dark gray paint. You don't have to use expensive stuff for this. Uh, you know, and I'm just going to kind of spread this all over, leaving a little bit of the black to kind of come through. <clears throat> and you'll see why afterwards as I start layering some of the paint. And here we go.
So we're on to the next color now, and this is just a regular gray instead of the dark gray. And that's just going to complement the other gray. <clears throat> now, I started out with a sponge, did a bit with the sponge, um, but I ended up just going straight to my makeup brush that I use, and I just started brushing it on. It was a lot quicker, right? And again, we we're just giving this like a basic coloring, right? Just to make it look a little nicer and add to the rigidity of the foam. Now just to add a little extra, I'm going to add a Craftsmark tan and just kind of sponge it around or brush it on to add to the texture. Now to use a little bit of burnt orange and this is going to be the color to distinguish the difference between the base game and the expansion pieces that are all in the same box. Now for the final step, a little bit of middle wax, clear satin. You don't want to use this normally indoors. I have actually a fairly well ventilated area here and fans and stuff going in case anyone's wondering. Um, and this is gonna be the clear coat that's gonna protect it and the components that are in the box. So now that we're done, let's put this thing all back together.
So there we have it guys. Everything is done. We now have excavation earth completed with a full painted organizer that covers both the expansion, the extras, and the game. And we have a slight color variation so you can see what that expansion is in there if you don't feel like using it. So until next time guys, please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget we still have that draw coming so subscribe, send an email, and we'll catch you on the next one.